They got the best seats in the stadium, at least when the game action is on their side of the field. It's North versus South in the 2015 Shrine Bowl. First quarter, North wearing the brown and on defense. Carey powers a bighorn, hits Tevis Bartlett of Cheyenne East on the pass attempt. Dylan Matuska of Gillette grabs the ball before it hits the ground and returns it 11 yards for a score. It is a pick six because Bartlett's arm was coming forward when the ball came loose. PAT no good, so the score is six to nothing. The defense did its job, so now let's see if the offense can do theirs. Calder Forsella of Grable rolls out to his right. He's looking for a target, and he has one in the form of Carter Baxter Powell from 12 yards out. Add on a two-point conversion, and the North has quickly jumped out to a 14-zip lead. The South was in an early hole, and Bartlett was trying to lead them out of it. He was trying to go deep for Tayton Montgomery of Cheyenne Central, but he ended up getting Noah Rivera of Cody instead. Bartlett ended up throwing for 205 yards, but he got picked off four times, and those numbers canceled each other out. Let's see if the South defense could do anything. They had a few moments here and there. Christian Mayer of Bighorn will try and end around, but Colton Ligurski of Rock Springs is going to wrap him up and drop him for a 16-yard loss. That was big, but the North was able to shake it off and continue their drive down the field. A few plays later, Brandon Fullerton of Riverton is doing the QB duties. This is a screen pass to Cason Filbert of Buffalo. The Bison has a lane on the far side, got some good blocks, and he will go 27 yards to the promised land. That's two touchdowns off of South turnovers, and the North was in great shape, ahead 21 to nothing after the first 15 minutes. Second quarter, they may have been down, but the South's defense was not out of it. James Tykert of Cokeville gets the tip and the pick. That would put his squad in great field position at the North 34, and now they just have to cash in on the turnover. They would roll the dice. Fourth and three at the nine. Jace Peterson of Cokeville would try to do it himself, but Powers would get through and drag him down from behind. No points for the South, and they would have to turn it over on downs. But they would catch a break. The North would run an option play. Forcella was trying to pitch the ball to Stevan Brown of Natrona, and no one was home. Trey Faisler of Torrington was in the right place at the right time and returns it two yards. They'll take it. They finally have some points on the board and trail 21-7. The South would get the ball again, and they were hoping to build some momentum. We lost the ball for a moment. What happened was it was tipped and intercepted by Mark Ford of Jackson. That's how you shift the Mo back to your squad, and the North was back in business near midfield. Moving on, it pays to have a plan B sometimes. Brown tried to go up the middle, hit a roadblock, backed up, took the long way around, and he would hit pay dirt on this 25-yard run. That is what offensive MVPs do. PAT no good, so the score is 27-7. We still got a little bit of time before half, so the North would try it again. Fullerton would throw a fade to Mayer, who makes the catch, but he landed out of bounds. A lot of fans disagreed, so we thought we better show that play and clear up the confusion. Next play, instead of the fade, Forcella would throw a screen instead. Brown would show what he could do for you, and he just makes it in on a six-yard play. The North had just about everything going for them, and they would have a 34-7 lead going into the locker room. Third quarter, the North was trying to finish this game quickly. Forcella is going to uncork a long one, and Talon Nelson of Gillette was there to reel it in. A 42-yard pickup down to the south 35, and it looked like they could do no wrong. However, we spoke too soon. Rowan Hawk of Dubois tried to run before he had possession of the ball, and it's on the ground. Rhett Muchmore of Cheyenne Central made the recovery, although the south could not do anything with the turnover and eventually had to give it back. It looked like for a while that things in this game were going to slow down, and then this happened. Logan Wilson of Natrona will take off on the fake punt, and he will find a lot of room to run. He would gain 34 yards on this play, down to the south 25, and his team would maintain possession and get back to work. That last play eventually resulted in this. Forcella with the fake, keeps it himself, and gets in from eight yards away. The only problem the North had was converting their PATs, but no matter... 40-7 40-7 to seven is a pretty safe lead to have. Now this is dedication and a commitment to your team. Parker Franzen of Natrona got hurt in the first quarter, had to be taken by ambulance to the hospital, and he wanted to come back. The game had already been decided, but he did not care. The Shrine Bowl is a once-in-a-lifetime moment. And that would motivate the North defense. This play was doomed from the beginning, and Bartlett would get swallowed up by Powers, along with Matuska and Casey Savage of Riverton. The score would remain at 40-7 going into the final 15 minutes. 
Fourth quarter, it was all about pride now. Cade Covington of Mountain View scores on fourth and goal from the three, but the South is still down big, 40-14. to 14. Thankfully, the Shrine Bowl rules allows the losing team to get the ball again, but maybe that was not such a good idea. Bartlett will get sacked by Matuska, who ended up winning defensive MVP honors, and there was still time to do more. As for Bartlett, this was not one of his better games, but he will shake it off once he gets to the University of Washington. This play was interception number four into the hands of Jordan Fisher of Gillette, and the North would improve their record to 6-1-1 versus the South in the last eight games. They win this year's game comfortably 40-14.